tell girls they like them, which is weird considering all the gross things they aren't too shy to do around us. So here's how to recognize the signs. If a boy looks at you during a test at school, he likes you or he wants some answers. If you ask a boy something and he looks at his shoes, he really likes you or he stepped in something. And if he hangs around you going, he, 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 he likes you a lot or you should get away fast. But if he throws spitballs at you and puts a snake in your lunchbox, he absolutely adores you and he wants to get married. Or he's your brother. Aw, what a way to spend a Saturday. Hey, Tub, having a good time? Um, yeah! Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. You know, I never realized how truly exciting painting could be. Care to give it a try? Yeah, right. Anyway, we gotta go. We were supposed to meet Lulu and Annie at the bowling alley ten minutes ago. I can't. I have to finish painting this fence before my parents get home or my dad will have a fit. I've been putting it off for weeks. Well then, what's a couple more hours? Good point. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Lulu and I have been practicing. You guys are in trouble this time. In your dreams. Come on, Tubby, let's get some shoes. Hey, check it out. Two for one hot dogs. Can we try and stay focused here, please? What's your size, kid? Jumbo foot long with everything. Yes! Good one, Annie. Yuck! Hey, who got mustard all over the balls? <gasps> what are you looking at me for? Ha! Did you see that, Tubby? Tubby? This time, let's make it a couple of chili dogs. Okay, it's the last frame. We need a strike to win. No problem. <laughs> I must have built up too many finger muscles from all that painting. Or maybe all those hot dogs have worked their way down to your fingers. <laughs> Over the line, we win. This is so embarrassing. Don't worry about it. This sort of thing happens all the time. It does? Well, no, not really. Forget it, kid. You can keep the ball. How am I going to explain this to my parents? You won't have to. I've got a plan. This had better work. Nothing's happening. We need more weight. Hey, take it easy. 
Oh! Oh, great. That's much better. So, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could use a sledgehammer to smash the ball into little pieces. Yeah, but there's a good chance we could smash his fingers, too. Hey, I'm willing to take the risk. What? Tubby, we're home. My parents, they can't see me like this. I wasn't even supposed to be bowling in the first place. I've got an idea. Annie, you go inside and stall Tubby's parents. Iggy, you go around to the vestibule and grab an overcoat and a big hat. What are you gonna do? You'll see. Ah, back from shopping, are we? Yes, we are. How is that fence coming? Oh, you know, it's coming. Say, did I ever tell you about the time my cat got lost? It was a very traumatic experience. I'm sure it was, dear, but right now I want to go check on Tubby. Hey, look! Ah, gotcha. I hope my dad buys this. Tubby, how come you haven't finished the fence? Uh, well, Lulu came by with our new friend, Bo. He's from Sweden. He doesn't speak any English. Oh, my aching head. Icky, be quiet. He's coming this way. We're done for. Dear, could you please come inside and help me unpack these groceries? All right, I'm coming. Phew. Is it over? Let me out of here. Whoa, it worked. Yeah, but I'm right back to square one. It's time I faced the facts. This thing is never coming off. I'll be like this for the rest of my life. A freak, an outcast, scorned by my fellow man. Doomed to wander the earth in an endless search for... Ice cream, get your ice cream here. Is that what I think it is? The ice cream man! Ah! Ah! Well, I know what I'll be doing next Saturday. I won't be just painting a fence, I'll be building one. This is supposed to be a love story. Listen, he had a crush on her. She was swept off her feet. She fell head over heels. But in the end, she had a broken heart. A broken heart? How? Sounds like she should have ended up in the hospital. <laughs> Last week, I could tell my parents were really excited about our trip to the zoo, because they kept saying things like, turkey, nice jaguar. What a weasel. Bunch of cows, and it's a jungle out there. Well, we never did make it to the zoo after all. Dad said there were too many animals on the road. Doobie, doobie, doo. Contribution to the Great Tabini Retirement Fund would help. Hmm. Ah, yes. That's much better. I'm getting something. <gasps> this is incredible. What is it? The two of you are going to find a treasure. Wait, there's something else. A warning. It says, all that glitters is not gold. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? How should I know? Who knows what the future holds? Next! Whoa, a treasure! I wonder what it'll be. 
Come on, Annie. You didn't fall for that, did you? Tubby was just making it up. Hey, the great Tabini is never wrong. The other day, he predicted that I would pass my math test. And I did. Hmm, that is strange. Hey, Lulu, what's that? There's something inside. Ah, it's a treasure map. Tubby was right. I don't know. There's something fishy about this. Come on, Lulu. We should at least check it out. Oh, all right. I gotta admit, I am kind of curious. They fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay. From the big rock, we go a hundred paces west. I guess we're gonna have to go through these bushes. I think I tore my dress. Well, at least we made it. Let's hope the rest of the directions are easier. <laughs> Finally, this is the spot. <laughs> You know, I do believe this is the best prank we've ever pulled. Yeah, but I still think we should have made him go through the poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> I hit something! We found it! We found the treasure! It's locked. We'll have to take it home and pry it open. Is that what I think it is? We're rich! We're rich! Hi, girls. Dad, look what we found! Oh, I love these things. They're delicious. Delicious? Yeah, they're chocolate. Mmm, want a bite? It's like I told you. All that glitters isn't gold. Okay, okay. You were right about the treasure. So what happens now? Hmm... This isn't good. It looks like the leprechauns are upset. Leprechauns? Yeah. That must have been their stash of chocolate you found. Now they want revenge. Oh, no! Yep. It looks like they're gonna cast a spell on you guys and turn you into... What? What? Mice. <gasps> You've only got one chance. Leprechauns aren't too bright, so if you do everything backwards for a couple of days, you might be able to confuse them. This is stupid. There's no such thing as leprechauns. Better safe than sorry, Lulu. Now let's go rent a movie and watch it backwards. Oh, oh sorry, Mr. Peabody. That's all right, Lulu, but you should watch where you're going. Yeah, tell it to the leprechauns. Oh, by the way, Tell Tubby if he wants more of those chocolates that look like gold coins. I just received another shipment. Tubby bought those chocolates? Yeah, a whole box. Said they were a present for some friends of his. I don't believe it. We've been set up. I think it's time someone taught the great Tubini a lesson. Can you believe those girls have been walking around backwards all day? <laughs> How gullible can you get? Hey, but that looks like Lulu's dress. And that's Annie's. Hey, what's going on? Oh, no! Lulu? Boy, those leprechauns sure play hardball. My parents are gonna have a fit. How long do you think it'll take them to figure out that they've been had? Hard to say. I mean, who knows what the future holds? Next! Choosing a baby's name is tough, but not if you follow Lulu's name plan. First, decide what kind of kid you want, then pick the name. You want a tough kid? Name him Spike. 
cheerleader, name her Muffy. And of course, for a smart kid, Lulu. But please, don't name your kids because of what they're like as babies. I mean, who wants to go through life being called stinky? When girls get up in the morning, they have to shower, scrub, brush, floss, and blow dry. And boys, they just throw on some old dirty clothes and they're out the door. Mom says being dirty is in boys' jeans. Well, if you ask me, it's not just in their jeans. <laughs> it's on their shirts, too. guys doing with Mrs. Hogginswallow's dog? We're giving Tiberius here a bath. He's the first customer of our new pet care business. We brush, walk, shampoo, shampoo. Hey, we're out of shampoo. Keep Tiberius busy, Annie. I'm going inside to look for shampoo. Hey, Iggy, how about giving me a hand? Sorry, can't stay eating. We're out of shampoo, so we'll have to improvise with this stuff. Eggs for nice, shiny fur. Dishwashing detergent for a fresh, clean lather. Ice cream in case we get hungry. Lulu, you're brilliant. There, he looks great. Well, better get my mom's brushes back up to her room before she notices them missing. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hogginswallow. Your dog's ready. <gasps> oh, my goodness. He looks wonderful. His fur is so shiny. And sheeny. And bouncy, creamy. I must know, what kind of wonderful shampoo did you use? <gasps> Uh, we can't say. Yeah, it's an old family secret. Well, you could at least give me a sample. I'd be willing to pay, of course. <gasps> ah! You talked us into it. Maybe it's another customer. Actually, it's a lot of customers. Whoa! Ah. Oh, oh. Ah. Get it! Let's go! Look out! Wow, the pet care business is really picking up. Oh, you can say that again. I heard all about your miracle shampoo, so I'm dropping Fluffy here off for a bath. Thanks. Hey, Annie, I'm going in to get the stuff for the shampoo. Annie? Bad! Bad rabbits! Shoo! Say, Iggy, can you keep an eye on the animals for me? Sure. <laughs> Time we raised our prices. Oh, girls! There you are. I decided to try your shampoo for myself. And well, just look at the results. Very impressive. It even took care of my split ends. You know, I think you girls could probably make a lot of money selling this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the next wave in personal grooming Lulu and Annie's Miracle Shampoo. Is your hair greasy? Is it frizzy? Is it downright unmanageable? Well, now your problems are solved. Our secret patented formula is all natural. 
It's pH balanced. And perfect for moms, dads, boys, and all us girls, too. You'll be so happy with how you look, you'll want to tell all your friends. And they'll want to tell all their friends. And they'll tell theirs. And so on. It smells like a warm summer's day. And I'd use it, too. Forget the pet care business. The real money's in shampoo sales. Hey, isn't that Mrs. Hogginswallow's dog? Tiberius? <laughs> well, that's weird. I wonder what made him lose his fur. Oh, no. It can't be. Wait, there's Fluffy, and he still has all his fur. Ah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we have to get back every bottle we sold before the whole town goes bald. Check. Aha! Check. There. That's the last of it. Every penny returned, every bottle accounted for, and we avoided a major disaster. Oh. Well, not quite. <gasps> Come on, Annie. I think I hear your mother calling. Lulu, Annie, come back here. I've got a bone to pick with you. What's the big deal anyway? If you ask me, bald is beautiful. One time at a fancy restaurant, I got this really bad waiter. He asked if I'd like the chef's salad. Why would I want to share someone's salad, I asked. Don't you have any brains? And you know what? They did. Boiled or stewed. Then I noticed that I had three forks. Well, I didn't want the waiter to make me share anything, so I swapped them all for dessert spoons and ordered a huge chocolate mousse so I could eat the body and save the antlers for the morning. Sort of like an Easter bunny. But what about your main course, the waiter asked me. But when I told him I was best in math, he walked away. And he calls himself a waiter. He never even waited for me to finish my order. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.